Aren't you tired of the same old precipitation types when talking about weather? Well, with this video, we got you covered. You'll go from saying, look, it's raining, to saying, look, it's frontal precipitation in no time. I'm Nicole. I'm Nikki. <laughs> and I'm Janine. So, what is frontal precipitation anyway? Isn't it just another word for precipitation? Well, it's more exciting than that. It's rain when two air masses meet. There are two kinds, the cold front and the warm front. Next part is in reference for the rest of the presentation. There's warm mass, which is more energy, fast moving particles, and light mass, and less stable. And on the other hand, there's cold mass, which is less energy, slow moving particles, heavy mass, and more stable. Think of this as your favorite Starbucks drink. The colder, heavier substance will sink to the bottom while the warmer, lighter substance floats on top. How does the warm front work? First, the lighter, warmer air mass bumps into the cooler, heavier air mass. The warm air is forced off the ground by the colder, heavier air and causes the warm air to go up over the cold air. You can think of it like a slope. For all you cloud watchers out there, you can find a warm front by its cirrus clouds, which appear 48 hours before the actual front appears. These clouds are made out of ice and will not make precipitation. When the warm front comes nearer, the clouds get thicker. The cirrus clouds will then turn into cirrus stratus and alto stratus clouds. Finally, a cloud called nimbostratus makes rain. This ring covers a pretty great distance as the front slowly moves. Now it's time for cold front. For cold front, a cold air mass bumps into a warmer air mass. The cold air stays near the ground and pushes underneath the warm air, causing it to rise. The slope of cold air is very steep, which makes the warm air rise vertically. When warm air rises, it cools and water vapor creates cumulus clouds. You can see cumulus clouds right after a cold front. So, what is a cumulus cloud? Remember when you were little and used to draw a sun in the corner and a fluffy cloud? Well, that's a cumulus cloud for you. They're fluffy, cotton-like, and have a flat bottom. Cumulus clouds usually turn into cumulonimbus clouds, which produce rain. This rain is heavy and focused in one area. Thank you, next. Whoops, I mean. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe!